Welcome, pilots! This video is part of my guide detailing every high security combat site. In most of these videos, you'll see me flying an assault frigate called the Ishker. This is mainly because it's my favorite ship to fly, but it does perform quite well in the Serpentis drug outlet. Combat signatures appear in your probe scanner window, and you must scan them down with probes before you can warp to them. Some combat signatures are referred to as DED rated sites. DED stands for the Directive Enforcement Department, an NPC corporation that is a division of Concord. Such combat sites are given a difficulty rating on a scale of 1 through 10. The Serpentis Drug Outlet is a combat signature found in all systems with a security status of 0.9 and higher throughout Galent space. This site is a good place for younger pilots to practice their PvE combat skills. It also has a decent potential for some good loot drops. Only Corvette or Frigate class ships will be allowed into the site. This dead space complex is under control of the drug dealing Serpentis Corporation. This particular branch is a drug dealing outlet containing narcotic supermarkets and local storages for illicit substances. This site has a DED threat assessment of training, 1 of 10. You will land directly on an ancient acceleration gate, which you must activate to enter the first room of the site. This dead space complex is known to be a haven for Serpentis drug dealers. The dealer gate is merely the actual entrance gate of the complex, and is usually guarded by a single henchman from the corporation. Hundreds of drug dealers use the gate every week to get their hands on the newest merchandise from the local vendors. The first room will have a single frigate guarding the gate to the second room of the site. This sole frigate must be destroyed to activate the acceleration gate. This part of the complex houses the center of the local drug dealing scene. Only the overseer of the dealers can give access to the core Serpentis base of operations hidden deep beyond the acceleration gate at the far end. The second room has three groups of Serpentis NPCs. The first group is on the right, near a collection of sales bunkers. This group consists of eight frigates and corvettes, as well as a Serpentis drugstore overseer. The second group is on the left, near a drug dealer hideout. This group consists of seven frigates and corvettes. The third group is straight ahead, near the acceleration gate to the final room. This group consists of three frigates. Only the Serpentis drugstore overseer must be destroyed and looted to activate the acceleration gate. The overseer drops a drug dealer pass card to the storage area, which will be consumed when you use the gate. It also drops a 6th tier Overseer effects, and may have a small chance of dropping a Shadow Serpentis module. The rest of the Serpentis NPCs can be ignored. This pocket houses the local headquarters for the drug vendors. The central station is divided into four wings. The first one handles communication to other Serpentis branches within the constellation. The second manages the financing behind the operation. The third one contains the narcotic storages and warehouses, while the fourth and last segment handles advertisement and marketing. Ship equipment and supplies are stored beneath the base superstructure. The third and final room has five groups of Serpentis NPCs. The first four groups are each found near four Serpentis lookout structures, and each consist of three frigates or corvettes. The fifth group surrounds the base and consists of nine frigates and corvettes. Among them is a Serpentis Outlet crime boss. All of the NPCs can actually be ignored here, as the potential dead space loot comes from the Serpentis financing office. This structure will always drop a third tier overseer effects, and has a decent potential to drop one or more Corelli C-type dead space modules, or a Daredevil blueprint copy. Overall, you only have to destroy two NPCs in a structure to gain the potential loot drops. The more expensive dead space modules that may drop include the Afterburner, Micro Warp Drive, Armor Repair, or Adaptive Nanoplating. A ship like the Ishker, fit with railguns, is capable of running this site in about three minutes when ignoring the NPCs that are unnecessary to complete the site. Because the entrance gate is restricted to frigate class ships, assault frigates like the Ishker are pretty much the perfect fit for this site. Stay tuned to Riley Entertainment for more EVE Online combat site guides. In high security Glint space, you can also probe down other DED rated sites like the Serpentis Live Cargo Distribution Facilities, Serpentis Narcotics Warehouse, 
or Serpentis Phi Outpost. The Serpentis Hydroponics site can only be found in high security space through a lucky escalation from a Serpentis den. Other NPC pirates include Rogue Drones, the Garistas, Angel Cartel, Blood Raiders, and Sanchez Nation.